What's going on guys, it's that time when everyone on Twitter becomes a fashion designer. Today the NHL released all 31 reverse retro jerseys for every single NHL team, so I figured I've seen a lot of people giving their hot takes on Twitter, saying the ones they like the best as well as the ones they like the least, so I figured I'd throw my hand in the mix and give you guys my rankings from 31 to 1, uh, starting from the bottom, going all the way to the top. So. Uh, this first one I think is pretty obvious because this team did the least amount of work possible. It is the New York Islanders. Uh, if you guys aren't too familiar with the actual Islanders jersey, it, you're basically looking at it right now, except instead of navy blue, it's more of like a royal blue. And then they reverse the striped colors from being orange on top, white on the bottom, to orange on the bottom, white on top. Other than that, it's the exact same jersey. So they're last simply because it seems like they did the least amount of work possible. I'm not sure if that's because of Lou Lamorello. He wanted to keep it, you know, basic or, you know, not do anything too drastic. But um, their last, even though I don't think it's the ugliest jersey, it's literally basically their home jersey. So uh, their last basically on zero or probably negative 100 uh, creativity. After the New York Islanders won, this next one I'm probably going to get a lot of flack for. It's the Toronto Maple Leafs. I'm not a fan of it. I think that the logo, I don't know if you guys have ever seen that thing where it's like, um, trying to draw NHL logos off by heart or whatever. That kind of looks like this logo is. It looks like a bad drawing of the Leafs logo, especially the font too. It looks like someone who, I don't know, doesn't really know graphic design, just out of the curve, and then the Maple Leafs is like stuck together. It's a big leaf. I'm just not digging it. Same with the gray. Uh, it's like a dull gray, not nowhere near as sharp as a blue and white Leafs jersey, which I think is actually one of the nicer jerseys in the NHL. Um, from that though, they go to the second worst one, I think, the reverse retros again, just Really not liking a lot of it, especially too, I'm not a big fan of like the long colored stripe on the jersey, so that, you got the big stripe on the bottom. Really just not digging that jersey at all to be honest. Now, you guys will know I'm not biased as the third worst jersey I think is the Detroit Red Wings. Um, a lot of people are saying this is a practice jersey, I can't argue with that. It's literally just a white, plain white Red Wings jersey with a gray stripe on the bottom as well as gray stripes on the sleeves. Uh, it's definitely pretty similar I think to the Centennial Classic which was the white with the gray but that one had like a little bit of something to it I feel. This is like a kind of worse more bland version of that like the, it's basically just a plain white jersey. Red Wings logo on there, a couple red numbers and then like the gray stripes don't really do much for me. I think practice jerseys is a very good way to sum this up. I really wish they would have gotten something crazy like use the English D, uh, maybe even like I don't know some logo from the past I'm not familiar with. Um, this was like so safe, so boring. Uh, there's a reason it's the third last jersey. Now, now after that, fourth last is actually the one above it, the Dallas Stars jersey. So uh, some people might disagree with this one, but I'm basically not a fan of it because the way it works, it looks really weird to me. Um, they have like the stripes in the shape of a star, but uh, because it's just on white on white, it looks off. Like I think they either should have done color below or color above. Like color above would have filled in the star, and then color below would have made the star white. Instead, you have like essentially a white star on a white jersey when you don't color in one of the two sides. Uh, the logo itself too, I don't know, with the silver. I, it, it's kind of like the Red Wings one. It's basically just all white with a bit of color. It's just not a really great looking jersey in my eyes. Now this next one's probably controversial. I feel like I saw a lot of people like this, but also a lot of people hate this one. I'm more of the camp. I'm not a big fan of it. Uh, it's the St. Louis Blues jersey here coming in at 27. Um, I've just never been a fan of this retro St. Louis jersey. The red just doesn't work for me. The red and yellow, um, I'm not a fan of it. I think the blue and yellow is so sharp. Um, I think too, like the other older jersey had less red than this one, so the more red, I'm just not a fan of it. The logo, the jersey, uh, the, the yellow on the red, um, I just, I don't know. I, I really just don't like the look of the jersey that much. Now, I do think it's better than the white ones because at least they went for something, you know, it's got some some spark to it, I guess you'd say. Uh, they tried something, I just wasn't a fan, but I do respect it, opposed to like the other ones which were really boring, and even some of them, like the Maple Leafs one, was pretty boring and pretty ugly, I think. After that, we have another jersey that was getting a lot of hate, and I have to agree, it is the Winnipeg Jets jersey. So, I do like the fact that they brought back like the old Jets logo, but uh, just the dark gray there as the base color, it's just so bland. Um, I saw one mock-up where someone made it like red, and it actually looked really sharp, so, uh, that probably boosted up, you know, a bunch of spots in my rankings, but the dark gray, it's just so boring. Again, I said how I'm not a huge fan of, like, the colored striped sleeves. I don't know what it is. I just never have been, so I'm just going to let you guys know, like, personal preference. And then, yeah, with the gray, uh, the actual Jets logo, I don't think it's that bad, but on the gray, it doesn't pop at all. Like, I don't know. It's just, like, if I go low here, it doesn't really stick out to me. It's just not a great jersey. Now after that one, I have a jersey that's pretty average, but it's just like so average and boring I have it low. Uh, it's a Philadelphia Flyers jersey coming in at 25. Uh, reason being, I don't know, like it's just basically a Flyers jersey with different sleeves. Also too, I'm not a huge fan of like the design of how the sleeve kind of curves out there because I don't know, like it makes it look like, 
don't know, a mushroom or something with how like it sticks into the sleeves. I'm not a huge fan of that design. Um, other than that, like it's just really not doing anything for me. So like I said, it's not terrible, but I don't know, it's just not a great jersey in my eyes. Um, after that, we have the Vegas Golden Knights one. So I've seen a lot of people actually really like this one. Again, I'm not a huge fan of the red here. The actual logo I do like, which is kind of why it's pretty high. If it wasn't for the logo, it'd probably be lower. Um, as well, I'm a huge fan, I think, of how the gold shines or whatever, like the texture they use on the Golden Knights jerseys. But uh, just the red, I don't know. The V stripes, I kind of works, I guess, because like the sword or whatever. But yeah, this is just one that wasn't really the greatest to me, so that's why I have it kind of low. And after that, when we're going to Smashville, uh, the Nashville jersey, I think this one a lot of people consider to be like the worst Adidas jersey when it first came out because of so much yellow. So you can see they tried to go less yellow here, but there's still quite a bit. Uh, this one, the colored sleeves actually come to a point, which I think is a lot sharper than just going all the way down to like the end of the wrist there. Um, so this one, like, I didn't actually mind it too much. I mean, what is it ranked? 23rd. So yeah, like it's definitely above a decent amount here, but uh, a lot of nicer jerseys. So is it bad? I don't think so. I just thought, you know, looking at it, it's not bad. It's okay. So... You know, not too great, not too terrible. Um, after that, actually, is the one right below it, the New Jersey Devils jersey. So um, this one, again, it's okay. It's not terrible. It's not great. Uh, the one thing, though, I think that keeps it lower for me is whenever I see the red and green Devils jersey, all I can think about is Christmas. Like, it's literally, you could wear this to, like, an ugly sweater Christmas party, and I think you get away with it. Not to say it's ugly, but, I mean, it's Christmas-themed. Some people might think it's ugly, so... Yeah, I don't know. It's, when I see that jersey, I think Christmas, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but I don't think it's a good thing either, so that's what I have it at 22. And next up here, guys, at number 21, I have the Chicago Blackhawks. Uh, so the picture of the NHL released is from behind. Um, luckily, I've actually got a bigger picture you guys can see. You can actually see the logo there. So kind of like I mentioned with Nashville, we're getting higher up in the rankings now. I don't really consider any of these jerseys to be bad. They're just kind of average to me. When I looked at that jersey, I thought, you know, it's not too bad. It's pretty average. Didn't really stand out to me as being one of the best ones, nor did I think it was bad by any means. Obviously, going with the older uh, Blackhawks logo there. I kind of like how it has Blackhawks on top, Chicago below. Uh, the logo itself, I think like the newer logo is definitely better, but uh, this one's not too bad. Color scheme-wise, I mean, red and black is a classic with the white. Again, like, wasn't great, wasn't terrible, so I think that's why I have it at 21. Now, this next one, a lot of people are probably going to think is too high on the list, but judging by what I saw on Twitter, but um, at 20 here, I actually have the Pittsburgh Penguins. This is a jersey, I'm a big fan, I think, of, like, the letters diagonal across. Like, the Rangers have one, obviously. I like that Rangers jersey, so I think a lot of people aren't a fan of this. I think it's pretty cool. Um, it kind of gives me, like, college vibes, honestly. Uh, white, black, and yellow, obviously, they just stuck with. Uh, you know, their standard color scheme. A lot of people wanted the 2D Penguin, like the one that uh, Lemieux rocked, but uh, I think this one's still pretty good. The 2D Penguin probably would've been higher up in the rankings, but really, I don't mind this one. I think it's like a nice jersey. It's, it's at 20, so I mean, it's not amazing, but I just think it's a nice jersey. Now, number 19 here, we're going from Sid the Kid to Connor McDavid with the Edmonton Oilers. Um, this one, I don't know how to describe it. It gives me almost like orange creamsicle vibes, but with some blue uh, thrown in there. So the blue uh, kind of really saves it and actually makes it kind of sharp, I think. Um, obviously white base there the blue and orange this one's I, I want to say it had like the most pop of any of them like in terms of like bright colors Like it's a bright orange so bright blue. Um, I think you know, they tried something new here Like it's a really bright jersey obviously with the white Again, I, it's kind of like the Pittsburgh one. I think it's a nice jersey I don't think it's one of the best or anything. I don't think it's terrible. It's just like a pretty nice jersey uh, Now after that when we actually have the Boston Bruins same sort of vibe Like I looked at the Boston Bruins when I thought it's pretty nice I don't think it's one of the best. I don't think it's one of the worst uh, yellow there for the base, which is hard to pull off, like I mentioned with the Nashville jersey. I think they do it a lot better here. As black and yellow, obviously, is a pretty classic color combo. I think the logo looks good here. I think the stripes are actually really sharp. I like the fact that they added a lot more black to kind of contrast how much yellow there is. Um, even white on the end of the sleeves, I don't think looks too bad. Maybe a little big for my liking. I might have made that like half the size, but... Um, overall, similar to Edmonton, nice jersey, nothing crazy. And as I was saying, guys, I realized I somehow missed the Buffalo Sabres. I actually had them ranked at number 17 here. Honestly, I think this is a really nice jersey, and I've always been a pretty big fan of the Buffalo Sabres jerseys. There was the black and red goat head jerseys, or their newer blue and yellow jerseys. Like, I always think they're pretty nice. This one, honestly, though, I think it could have been so good. Like, I think it could have been a top five jersey if they used the goat head logo. Instead, they kind of went with a more bland logo there, just the two crossed swords or sabers uh, with the circle behind them. Luckily though, I think like the blue and yellow color scheme looks really good. I'm also a pretty big fan of Buffalo there across the bottom of the jersey. I think that just kind of looks sick. So um, overall, like a pretty solid jersey coming in at number 17, but again, for sure top 10, maybe top five jersey if they use the go-ahead logo here. Now, the next one I didn't actually expect to have this high is the Florida Panthers jersey. But um, looking at it, I thought this was really sharp. I really like the colors combo there of the blue, gold, 
uh, white and red. I was always a pretty big fan of that Panther logo. I think it's nicer than the current logo they have, so uh, I'm going to see them bringing that back. Um, I like how they have kind of like the V um, on the sleeves, but then they have the straight line on the bottom, which I think actually looks kind of nicer than V on the bottom with V on the sleeves. Uh, the red shoulder patch is there. Again, it's just kind of like a nice color jersey. I really like, I think, the contrast between the blue and the gold, so just a sharp jersey for me. How many people are going to get this one? I'm not sure, but it's a good jersey for whoever it does. Um, after that, we actually have the Ottawa Senators, of course, rocking the new logo. Um, this is again another red and black one. I think this one's a little bit nicer though than the Chicago. All red there. The double black colored sleeves. I've always been a fan of that. I think that's what Maple Leafs have. I mentioned how I really like that jersey. Their actual Maple Leafs jersey. Um, we got the black on the bottom there. Black collar. A lot of red, but honestly, I think this with the Senators logo, pulls it off quite nice. And Ottawa is actually the 15th ranked jersey, which basically means we're in the top half of the rankings now. So. All these jerseys I consider above average. The next one we're actually just going right across the border, the provincial border that is, uh, to the Montreal Canadiens. I think this is actually really, really sharp. I honestly like this one better than the regular home, which is red with the blue stripe. I think the blue with the red stripe looks a lot sharper, probably because the logo is red, so it's kind of a better contrast. Um, it's not just so much red like their regular home jersey. If I was Montreal, I'd honestly make this the new home, uh, the blue with the red stripe. I'm sure that's like sacrilege to say to Montreal Canadiens fan because the red jersey obviously is such a classic, but I like this blue one more. I think, like I said, it goes better with the logo. I'm also personally, my favorite color is blue, so I prefer blue to red. This one has more blue on it. Obviously, red, white, and blue, it's a classic color combo. If you guys know anything about country flags, I think like half the world's flags are white, red, and blue for a reason. It's just a really good color combo. And Montreal pulls it off nicely there. Now after the Montreal Canadiens, we have lucky number 13 at the San Jose Sharks. This is actually one that pulls off the gray quite nicely. I think it's because it's a lighter gray opposed to the Winnipeg, which is a darker gray and it kind of like took away from the rest. This one's a light gray. It really allows the logo, I think, in the middle to pop. Obviously to the teal, I think, actually goes pretty well with the gray, uh, the black and the white. I mean, San Jose, I've always been a big fan of their logo since I was a kid. I believe they're the only team in the NHL with a teal color, which I think is obviously a nice color. If you guys have seen my logo, I work it in there quite a bit. So overall, again, I like this one, the kind of slanted stripes there. Uh, this one does have a bit of the Philly thing, but it just works better in my opinion. Light gray, I don't know, just the teal I'm always a fan of. I just like that jersey quite a bit. Now after San Jose, a lot of people might say that this next one I have too low, but I'll do my best to explain why I only have it at number 12, and that is the Calgary Flames jersey. Obviously, a lot of people are huge fans of the horse head. I do think the horse head's pretty cool. Uh, the reason I only have it at 12 opposed to like in the top five or even the top 10, is just because this one's so much black. You can see like they got a bit of red and yellow there on the sleeve, and then they got the V-stripe on the bottom, which personally I just never thought looked that good. Uh, just something about it looks awkward to me, how it comes down, there's like empty space below. So I've just never been a big fan of that. I don't mind it on the sleeves, but this jersey, kind of like the Detroit one, um, as well as the Dallas one, where it's just so much white. This one's just so much black, only a little bit of color. Uh, it's basically saved by the horse head logo. Uh, so yeah, basically this one's just too much black for me. I wish they worked in a bit more red and yellow there, but um, overall still, I mean, it's number 12. It's, it's a pretty good jersey. Now after the Calgary Flames, we're actually going to a couple of recent expansion teams. The first is the Columbus Blue Jackets here, coming in at number 11. I like this jersey, but I think it could have been so much better. Probably a top five jersey. If the red was a blue and then the blue stripe there was red, because it is the Columbus Blue Jackets, uh, something about the main color of this jersey being red just throws me off. But I do like that logo. If you guys don't know, like the stars there making a CB, uh, you got the star with the stick there, on uh, the stripes, the stars on the end of the sleeve. Like I do think it's a pretty nice jersey. That's why it's number 11. But this one had so much potential to be even better if they made the main color blue and then like just had like the red there on the end of the sleeve at the bottom of the jersey. Like oh, it could have been so so good, but still. Uh, number 11, again, that one I feel is a bit waste of potential. After that, number 10, so we're in the top 10 now. Minnesota Wild, kind of like the, I don't know, Minnesota North Wild or something. Obviously using the North Stars colors there. I think this is a really sharp jersey. At first, I wasn't so sure about it. I just kept looking at it. I'm like, you know, that actually does work pretty good because Minnesota Wild, so you got the trees there in green. If you guys don't know, it's obviously a forest as well as the bear there. I'm also a big fan of the shadow numbers. If you guys look at the sleeves, you got the yellow with the green behind it. I think the two there on the right sleeve kind of shows it a little bit better, but um, honestly, I just really like the colors. I don't think anyone else goes green and yellow, at least not these green and yellows. And the fact that they kind of use the old colors with the new logo and it still works, I appreciate that. Like a lot of people wanted the Minnesota North Star end, but at that point, it's basically like the old North Star's logo pretty much. So uh, this is definitely like a reverse retro. It's like a new take, on an old design, so I think they kind of nailed that, which is why it's in the top 10. Now, speaking of a new take on an old logo, we're going all the way down here to the Washington Capitals. 
out of this one at number nine. This is definitely a mixed one. I think a lot of people love this one. A lot of people hate this one. I'm a big fan of it. I've always liked the Eagle, especially after Obi's rookie season. How could you not love that Eagle jersey? Now they're going to classic blue, white, and red here. Opposed to the white, light blue, and brown, whatever technical colors uh, the original jersey was. But I think they pulled this one off pretty good. Um, the base red there actually works because the Eagle is just all navy blue. So it's a good contrast. Uh, the C there on the left, I'm sure some people won't like, but it's whatever. Uh, the capitals there on the bottom, I think, is actually kind of sharp looking. Uh, the sleeves look good with the stripes. Again, red, white, and blue is pretty tough to get wrong. Um, I think the Eagle logo, a lot of people are saying it was too big, but I don't know, I think it kind of looks sick how big it is. Bald Eagles are huge, so I don't know, it makes it look more menacing maybe, but yeah. Um, I have this one number nine. I think it's like a sick jersey. Now number eight, we're going to New York, and it's the New York Rangers here. Going with the Lady Liberty logo, which I think is really sharp. Now this one is one where they definitely went a little bit more simplistic. It's all navy blue, and you just got like the small red stripe, the little white stripe in between it, but for whatever reason, this one just worked more than the others. I think it's because um, it's all navy blue opposed to like a bland color, like all white. Winnipeg's dark gray, all black. The fact that it's all one color, and it's a nice color in my opinion, in navy blue, my favorite color is blue, it makes this one work. Also too, they got the new logo there at the Lady Liberty, opposed to like the Red Wings just using an old logo. So again, reverse retro, a new take on an old design. I think the numbers are nice too. Just a sharp looking jersey. Now, speaking of New York, we're going to like the team that has a bunch of former New York players. I'm a big fan of this jersey, number seven, the Tampa Bay Lightning. So uh, going with the old Lightning logo there, I'm not sure if I like it more or less than the new one. I've always been a fan of like the Lightning Bolt logo, San Diego Chargers in the NFL, big fan of their logo. Same goes for the Tampa Bay Lightning. I think it's probably from like liking the Flash as a kid or something, but always been a fan of the Lightning logos. Um, this one, of course, blue's the main color. You got the big white, a little bit of black. I kind of like this one, honestly, more than the current Tampa Bay because it's just really plain. I think they only go with two colors. It's just blue and white or white and blue. Uh, this one, of course, mixes in a bit of black, goes with the black kind of shadow there on the lightning bolt on the logo. Obviously, you got kind of like the aggressive Tampa Bay font, then just lightning there, regular. I like this jersey a lot. I'm a big fan of it. Um, number seven for me, it just really sharp. Now, moving on to number six here, guys. This is where we start getting into some crazy jerseys, but honestly, I appreciate when they take a risk and they pull it off. Um, some of these that were obviously lower rated, I didn't think they pulled off, but the rest of these, I think worked really well. Some people still hate them, but I appreciate them trying something new. I number six to the Arizona Coyotes. So you got the Kachina head there. It's like 2D. I think it looks cool on the purple as well, going for something new. Then you got like the cactuses, the mountains, the moon there along the bottom, like something completely new. I really like that. Um, again, this is definitely similar to like the old jersey, but a new take on an old jersey, reverse retro. I feel like they nailed this here. Um, the purple and orange as well is a solid color combo. Um, the cactus green kind of goes with a bit of green there in the ears like overall I think this is a really sharp one so a uh, big fan of it. it's why I have it number six It is a little kind of crazy which is why it's not you know top five But I still think it's pretty cool now at number five. We're actually sticking with the purple jersey It's the LA Kings. Uh, they're going with that purple and yellow retro feel. I think this is a really sharp one um, Sort of like the purple and orange purple and yellow also I think it's a really nice color combo You can see it's like the old logo the old colors, but just classic jersey style You got the stripe across the sleeves and the, and the bottom which obviously match. One on the outside is yellow in the middle. The old Kings logo I probably like better than the new logo. Obviously you got like the old fashioned crown there at the bottom. That Kings text I think is just sick. Purple and yellow works well so definitely deserving a number five spot. Now next you guys are number four. This one might be my most controversial pick. It's either this one or the one that comes after it but I think I saw more people hating on this one than liking it. It's the Vancouver Canucks. I really like this jersey so I'm not sure everyone else. Uh, I think I just really like the gradient from the blue to the green. I think it looks really sharp. Uh, the green shoulders there. Uh, you can see how they got the point down the sleeves with the green, uh, the blue bottom. They got a little bit of light blue there in the Canucks logo, which I'm pretty sure is new. And I think it looks sick. Um, again, the gradient I think is just awesome. Now I'm thinking maybe it's because, I don't know, just the model, the way it's posed. Some people didn't like it that way. S7 actually made a mock of this before it even released, which shows you just how talented he is, of Jake Furtanen wearing that jersey. With the equipment and stuff, like how sick does that look? I think this Canucks jersey is awesome. Again, I'm a huge fan of the gradient, the blue to the green. I think that's just such a cool look for the jersey. I know Tampa Bay did it, and I think that the Canucks pulled it off a lot better than the Tampa jersey. Um, again, I think this is just really, really sharp looking. A lot of people hating on it. I don't, I'm not sure why. I'm not sure what I'm missing that they hate, but 
I really like that jersey. I have it number four. And now moving on to the top three. At the three spot, I have the Anaheim Ducks, or should we say the Mighty Ducks, rocking the classic wild wing, breaking out of the ice. I mean, that is just so sick. Um, I actually have a picture of this original jersey from when I went to the Hockey Hall of Fame in Toronto. So uh, you guys can kind of compare there what the original jersey looks like to like the reverse retro jersey. I think the reverse retro definitely made it better. I think the font's really cool too. You can see the C. The numbers, it's kind of like a cartoony font. Uh, they still have the, obviously, classic Mighty Duck logo on the shoulders as well as um, on the front of Wild Wing there. This is definitely, I think, the craziest one. As I believe every other jersey has some sort of logo in the middle of the jersey. I guess Pittsburgh would be the closest thing to not, but I consider the letters across the logo. Whereas this one, it's not even a logo. It's literally just a picture on a jersey, but I think it looks pretty sick. Obviously, Wild Wing, I guess, coming up would be like the logo. And uh, if you guys don't know, I'm a pretty big Wild Wing fan, so... Uh, the Wild Wing jersey, obviously, I'm going to be a fan of. This is, I think, this one, definitely a lot, a lot of people either love it or hate it. Uh, the Vancouver one seen most people hated more than love. But, uh, yeah, Anaheim here, number three, the Mighty Ducks. I think that's sick. Now, moving on to number two here, I feel like these next two are kind of unfair just because they're so, so sick and, like, the nostalgia with the Carolina Hurricanes, or should I say, the Hartford Whalers. I mean, that's just a sick jersey. I love the Hartford Whalers logo and jerseys of the past. Pretty hard to mess this one up. You can see they got the block C there. I think they got the whale on their shoulders, which makes it even sharper. Uh, they got the green, the blue, white at the bottom. Now, they do go for light gray here, but honestly, I think it works because I've added so many other colors here. As well, the Hartford Whalers actual logo is so big, the blue and green, the sleeves. Again, I'm a huge fan of the Hartford Whalers logo. If you guys don't know, like, there's so much going on there. It makes it perfect. Uh, like, the H there in the middle, like, the negative space. Then you got the W there, obviously, the tail at the top. I mean, it's just such a nice logo. I think it's such a nice, you know, color scheme. They rock the jersey. It's number two for a reason. Now, finally, at number one, sort of similar to that one. I feel like this team had an unfair advantage because they're going back to an old team that everyone loves. The Quebec Nordiques here, or should I say the Colorado Nordiques. Uh, it's the Quebec Nordiques logo with the Colorado Avalanche colors. Also, too, they got the Fleur de Lay. I think that's how you say it. I probably butchered it. I'm sorry. Uh, symbol there on the bottom, which I think obviously looks really good. In the burgundy. Uh, the Quebec Nordique logo there, burgundy opposed to red with the light blue, but I think it actually works, which makes sense, because burgundy is pretty close in color to red. Uh, light blue C there, the numbers light blue and burgundy color there, the bottom. Uh, we saw from Nathan McKinnon's Instagram, they're actually rocking like light blue gloves with this. I think this could be just so, so sick. So I'm so jealous of Colorado fans. Like, you got one of the best young teams in the NHL, and then you have the best reverse retro jersey. Like, it's just not fair. Um, also, too, it's kind of crazy. This jersey is white. And unlike, you know, some of the worst ones, all used white. This one just pulled it off so much better. Uh, this jersey, it's hard to mess up. A classic, like the Nordiques, like the Whalers. And I think they pulled it off just right. So there's my rankings, guys, for all 31 reverse retro jerseys from 31 to number one here with the Colorado Nordiques. Let me know in the comment section if you thought of my rankings. I'm sure you disagree with a lot. So let me know why I was wrong. If you guys did enjoy this video, leave that thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do that. Got tons of videos planned for you guys this week. And as always, thanks so much for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.